Okay, boys and girls, we're off on another little project here. Today we're going to use some of the same skills that we already did last time. I'm going to build on them. Something a little bit more complex, perhaps, and you have a choice today. You can make a lion or you can make a monkey. We're going to make both of them. And maybe down the line you'd like to make both of them. It's up to you. What you're going to need, though, you're going to need your glue stick. You're going to need some scissors, not these sharp kinds, some round-nosed scissors. You're going to need a pencil because you're going to be doing some bending of paper, what we call in the art biz quilling. We're going to quill the paper. And uh, we're going to make one of the things I, I've, I've neglected to tell you, if, if you have a, your art box, you can have a scrap box too. Sometimes you can just get an old box cardboard box and the things that you don't use you don't want to throw away sometimes they're a little bit large some of the pieces this is from my moose project and so I just throw it in my scrap box and I have that when I'm looking just for a little tiny piece of black or something so that's something to remember when you're doing some of these projects okay the first one we're going to do is um, the um, sun here. I'm sorry, the sun, the lion. It's yellow paper. This nice, hefty yellow paper that I have. What I would like you to do, you can find a bowl perhaps if you want, or if you feel up to drawing a good, large circle. We're going to need a circle about that big, and I've already drawn it. And I'm going to need two triangles. Can you see the triangles at the top? Yeah, those are going to be our lion's ears. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut out my circle. Okay. And... You can get mom to help you or sister to help you or brother to help you, dad to help you. And there's my circle. That's going to be the face of my lion. Okay. Now, I also have, sorry, I have my two ears that are, that's going to go in my scrap box. See, I'm going to be able to use that for something later on down the, down the line. So I have two triangles to cut out for the lion's ears all right a little awkward all right there we go here's our lion's ears okay and they're going to get glued on eventually but we're going to put those aside for right now. Now, if you have your crayons, your magic markers, I need those. Because we're going to put a face on our lion. The lion looks fairly easy, but he's not. He's going to take a long time. Here is the face of our lion. So... We're going to make a nice putty cat type nose. Looks like a triangle. Okay. I'm going to drop it down like this. Drop it down like this. Okay. And he needs two eyes. And a lion's eyes are kind of like this. They're kind of like ovals. Another one over here. And he has a lower lip. He also has some whiskers. All cats have whiskers. Do you know why cats have whiskers? Because that's how they feel things coming at them. The whiskers kind of tell their brains something is out there. Maybe it's danger. Maybe it's dinner, whatever. Okay, there is our lion. 
And now we're going to take our glue stick and we're going to put his ears on him. We could stick him on here like that. Looking like a putty cat, isn't he? Yeah, because the lion is of the cat family. There's the other one. Now, how do we make him look like a lion? Right now he looks like a cat, which he is a cat. We're going to cut some small pieces down of a contrasting color, another color. I'm using orange here. You can use any color you want. And we're going to cut some strips. And these strips are going to become the mane of the lion. But before we put them on there, we're going to do something kind of special to them. We'll cut them about four inches or so. Should be able to get four of them out of a strip. Okay. Then we're going to take a pencil. And you're going to take that pencil and you're going to wrap these around that pencil. And you'll see what we get when we're finished. We get a curl. So now we're going to start putting the mane onto our, onto our lion here. We're going to turn him over because it's probably easier to glue these on this way on the back. So you might want to line up a whole bunch of them before you start. And we'll just take a look, see how that's looking. Okay, there's the lion. Now, can you see that we're going to have lots and lots of these? And it takes a long time to curl these up to make these curls. But it will start to look like a lion for us. There's another one. Let's put this one right here on his head. Okay. We're going to do another one. The only thing is the paper that you're working with should be pretty thin because it's hard to roll the thicker paper. I'm going to do another one here. Okay. Is he looking like a lion yet to you? Hmm? What are we going to call him? Leo the Lion? Leo the Lion. Leonard the Lion. There. You can put him on the outside, the inside. Oh, let's put some more goop on there. He's not sticking. You have to stick. There. All right. Can you see him now? We're getting there, but it takes a long time. You have to be patient, and you have to use your skills in order to get that lion look, the look of the lion. There. We're getting there. I think you get the idea. Now, you can take that and you can mount it on another piece of paper if you want. Let's uh, try a blue black background. Okay? When we're finished with our lion here. We're not finished, but you can see how nice that looks. And there is our lion. Okay? Now, we're going to put this one aside for a minute. And we're going to do the monkey. So, what you need for the monkey is a lot of circles a lot of circles i'm going to show you how to cut a halfway decent circle by using the fold method here is the beginning of my monkey okay and it's a circle again as you can see and we're going to cut the circle out again like we did for the last one We will eventually mount this on a different contrasting color, maybe green, maybe yellow, whatever you have there. I sent you some paper. If you're out of paper, let me know. I'll get you some more. Okay? 
going to cut there is our monkey's face. So we're going to start there and we're going to cut a second circle a little bit smaller. Can you see that? That's his face right there. So we're cutting one circle then we're cutting another circle and let me show you how to cut a pretty decent circle here by taking your piece of paper folding it over like that and then cut a semicircle. Well, we don't need anything very big because his face is rather small and has to fit in the other face. Okay, I'll take a little off of that. So you have something that looks like that. That's again can go in your scrap bin. And there it is. You can use that one. We're going to use the one that we did. Okay, and I'm going to glue his face on his face. This is one of those little monk monkeys, I think. They're kind of cute. Okay, there we are. Now, I need a mouth and the rest on him. So I cut another circle, a little smaller, using the same method. You can use the fold-over method. I'm putting glue on there. Okay. And I'm going to put his mouth right there. All right. There we go. Now, monkeys also have ears. They have little semicircle. Cut another circle and then cut it in half. And you have monkey's ears. Here's our monkey's ears. I'm going to glue them on. Okay, here's monkey's ear, and here's the other monkey's ear. Okay, now what are we missing? We're missing some eyes and a nose. Well, let's see what we can do. We can, rather than draw them on, we will glue them on. So I have a little bit of scrap left from one of my projects. And you'll notice it's still bent over. It's still kind of in the page. See that? So if I cut some eyeballs like this on my folded paper, I end up with not one, but two. Two eyeballs. How do you like that? Okay. There's. I, I love working with paper because paper, once you learn how to work with it, it's fun. Okay, there's their eyeballs. I don't like just black eyes. I want to give them a pupil. So here I have, again, a waste of white. I'm going to fold it over. And I'm going to cut a circle only a little smaller than those are okay and here's a little we're going to make these you can see there's two of them there there we go and we're going to put those in his eyes there's one eye and here's the other eye there you go now how about a nose what color shall we make his nose? Let's make it brown. Again, I have scrap from my scrap box. And I'm going to cut out just one nose. So I'm just going to cut a round nose here. Oh, is that too, too small, you think? Let's start again. There we are. I think this will be better. I'm going to cut him a nose. There we go. I'm going to cut him a nose. There we are. More glue. 
come on. Glue that nose on. There we go. Now, what's missing? His mouth. So I can go back to my magic marker now. And I can give him a big smile. Like that. There. And when I'm finished, I can take and put Mr. Monkey on a nice back sheet. There he is. There he is. Okay. And we will put some glue on the back. You don't have to have a whole lot of glue. And there he is. And of course, you have to put your name on there because this is your work. All right, so there's Manfred the monkey and Leo the lion. We didn't quite finish our lion, but our lion has to uh, have the rest of his curls put on him. So he will look like a lion. Let's see if I can put a few more curls on there for you. Okay. I get I think you get the idea on this. Not very difficult. You can see that we are getting lots of curls on our lion and pretty soon what you're going to have is a lion with a mane this is called the lion's mane okay and then we can also put some glue on the back and we'll put him on his blue sheet there we go and if you want to really get fancy, 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 we can go back to our scrap, our white scrap. Let's cut an eyeball, just two little round things. Okay. There we go. Two little circles. Put a little glue on them. Come on. There we are. And it makes it so much more personal. It looks like he's really looking at you when you do that. There you go. He looks kind of ferocious to me. And you could even put a red tongue in there if you really wanted to get very exciting about it. Okay, so there are two little projects. I'm trying to get to the pipe cleaners. I sent you some pipe cleaners. We will try some pipe cleaner stuff next time. Put these on your art in your art gallery, and if you get a chance, send me a picture. Bye-bye.